In the 1920s, a young Edward Weston visited California's Monterey Peninsula. There, he and other gathering photographers would change photography as it was done and as it was to be perceived forever. I look at what Edward Weston did in more than one way. I think if you took his name off the photographs, they may not get the recognition that they get today. In today's world, I think there are better photographers. But in 1920 to 1940, there certainly weren't. Edward Weston, to me, is responsible for a major movement in the last 50 years in photography, maybe the last 60 years. Weston's darkroom is still used today by his grandson, Kim Weston. Edward had the simplest tools. There's a simple um, contact frame. You just take the negative, put the paper on, and then you, he would expose it to the light, which all he used was a simple light bulb. Weston was one of several photographers who met in 1932. That meeting was the beginning of Group F64 an aspiring young concert pianist named Ansel Adams was at that meeting. I had a new piano at the time, which he just adored. Oh, he would play, and I would play, and we'd play duets, and uh, he was training to be a concert pianist. So when I decided to change, my friends said, don't give up your music. The camera cannot express the human soul. But they never thought that a photographer could use an instrument that seemed to them mechanical. And yet what is more mechanical in one sense than a piano? They have to realize that it's, uh, it's what you do with it. 